Hello, Independent School District 7th grade students. It's Mrs. Douglas and Mrs. Hinkley, and we're here to, to help you review some math lessons that we've learned over this 7th grade school year, starting with your remote learning lesson one, adding integers. Um, today, when you're looking at this lesson, I noticed that sometimes integers have the same sign. Integers, by the way, are positive and negative numbers. And so in this first situation of negative 3 plus negative 5, I see that both of these are negative numbers. When they both have the same sign, all we are simply doing is recognize that there were three negatives on one side, five negatives on the other side. They are not going to conflict or cancel each other out. They join forces. And so we're just adding 3 plus 5 together to get 8. And since they were both negative, we fly that negative flag. You have examples below this first example of adding numbers together that have the same sign. Then if you look on down on your paper, you will see some examples where we have numbers that you're adding that have opposite signs. For example, a negative 10 and a positive four. In this situation, there are 10 negatives and four positives. And I'm asking myself, hmm, which one has the most representation, the negatives or the positives? And in this case, there are more negatives than there are positives. In fact, there are six more negatives than there are positives. And so I'm going to fly that negative flag. What we're really doing in this situation is we're simply taking 10 minus 4 because of the opposite signs and make sure we have that negative flag um, flying. So uh, again, below this, you will have some practice problems for adding integers when there are opposite signs. Good luck and have fun practicing your math.